again, since I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I just want to touch on one or two things. I definitely want to highlight about the conference because that's what Baba was, you know, very key in in working with you guys with over there. We was talking about doing stuff in Europe, you know, and really just spreading the spores this year in particular. So um, could you just share with us, you know, about the conference, what that meant to Baba, what that is, what's happening this year? And then I'm going to follow up that with some stuff that's going on in the UK. Well, you know, this would have been the third conference. Well, it's going to be the third conference. Um, and the title of this conference is um, Entheogens in Urban Environments, uh, Journey into the Mysteries. You know, I found this title in his notes. Uh, after his passing. And so that's the one that, you know, whether he was going to roll with that one or not, that's the one that I've seen. And that's the one that I'm going to obviously go with. Um, uh, you know, this was going to be the, nope, I'm not going to say what's going to be. This is going to be uh, a conference to honor Baba Kalindi's legacy and to bring the people together as one with one thought, which is to move forward and continue the work. Um, He was very excited about this conference, uh, calling it a world class. Um, they have all been very, very great. But the word had gotten out that the Detroit psychedelic community was on the move and that these conferences held so much information that folks from all over were preparing to come. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, insert the state of the world right now. You know, we're having to deal with this, uh, the evil presence, this pestilence, this energy that has been let loose upon the land, upon the world. And um, I put out a feeler just to kind of check the temperature of folks to see if they would still be willing to come to a conference in August in Detroit through travel. And the uh, positive energy was unbelievable. Yes, please do it. You gotta continue on, do the work. Uh, we don't want virtual, we, we want to gather. This will be a COVID compliant um, conference, you know, because, it, you know, stated by the government, of course, and it's for our safety and for those that are coming. But the energy is palpable. I mean, it's like people are ready to just, just to come and gather and talk and synergize. And um, so what's going to happen is happening. I mean, I remember, I mean, when he passed, it was like, you know, or maybe a month or so after he passed, it was like, what would Baba do? Would Baba continue on this path and do this conference anyway? Um, and I had to really ask myself, you know, what, what would he do here? And the energy was just very strong. It was like, do it, Ayana. You know, friends and family are all prepared and are standing and in, in, in waiting, just waiting for us to do this together. Of course, I cannot do this alone. I'm going to have the help of you and the other psycho, uh, psychedelic groups and the family to come forward and make this happen. And, and it is moving. We are on that path. And I'm going to just wipe this little tear away right now. They just come when they want to, <laughs> when I'm talking about my husband. <laughs> so um, the conference is going to be on August the 6th through the 8th, August the 6th through the 8th. And it's going to be at uh, 15,000 Southfield at Bushnell Congressional Church here in uh, Michigan. Um, will be three days of information, uh, connecting, workshops, dance movements. There will be martial arts involved in this because the students of Baba Kalindi all received their, well, some of them, receive their animals and their animals is just an energy that takes over when they're doing their art form but they were able to receive that animal through the use of um, psychedelics so they go into this trance and if your animal is a monkey then you do monkey moves if your animal is a tiger you do tiger moves if it's you know that's where it comes from and it's very so we're going to have that there and i think that that's going to be very enlightening to people to just get in touch with those movements um, so we are very sad that the uh, UK family cannot attend this conference. No, we are not going to do it virtual. I don't want anything virtual in reference to Baba Kalindi's work. I know that that's a sign of the times and that's the way it is. Of course, Darren, we're going to bring you in through Skype. Um, but, you know, to just have your physical presence there 
you know, well, we're, we're just going to miss the UK family and those who are willing to travel from other places. But here in Detroit, we're going to feel the beat. We're going to send the energy out. You're going to get it. You know, if we have video of it, then I do believe that's what's going to happen. We're going to have uh, where you can, you know, actually purchase the DVD of the conference um, if you have to do it that way. So moving forward, we just have exactly one month, exactly one month before this conference jumps off. And we are on target, we are on point uh, to make this happen. People are calling every day, they're asking information, they wanna know where the hotels are at. So come on y'all, come on, it's gonna be okay. And you're going to uh, be glad that you did. Lose the fear, just be, just be compliant, be mindful, do what you have to do and bring your energy because without you, it won't be. Thank you, sis. So, um, with that said, yeah, I physically can't be there, and that's that. You know, that is a bummer for me personally. But I understand the show goes on. You know, there's information to be spread, and you know, there's the memorial as well taking place during that period of time. So, you know, it's a it's a it's, it's a, a very important point in time that needs to be followed through, like you said. Um, but with that me, said, on, I'm sorry. Let me speak on that memorial. That is so. The the conference is August sixth, seventh, and eighth. And uh, then that Sunday, the 9th, will be uh, the memorial for Baba Kalindi and the celebration of life. You know, unfortunately, we weren't able to do those things right after he passed uh, to actually come together as a family and community and celebrate him and grieve together. Um, so we're going to do this right after the conference. And I decided it should work that way simply because I didn't want people to say, well, I went to the conference, so I'm not going to fly in for the memorial, or I went to the memorial and I'm not going to do the conference. So, I mean, because I know times are tight for a lot of folks. I mean, mm -hmm. the economy is in an all time low, you know, um, but to come to this celebration, to honor this man in this way will be a phenomenal family gathering with the drummers and the dancers and the singing and the stilt walkers and the mm -hmm. energy and the, uh, it's just going to be uh, a celebration nice. just a beautiful celebration for those that can make it please 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 come please come it's going to be outdoors so that that's to say a, say a lot right there and it's going to be a very huge celebration for a very huge um, memorial is happening. Okay, bear with me, it's a bit unstable. Can you hear me clearly? I, I can hear you clearly. Sometimes you kind of fade away a little bit, so I kind of bring the phone a little bit closer to me. But yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Just okay. So yeah, man, we're gonna be we're gonna be pushing that out, sis. You know, like I said, I can't physically be there, but I'm gonna do what I can on this front. As, as you're aware, on August the 2nd, we've got a virtual coming together of myself, yourself, um, Brother Mudu and Sister Omalewa, along with the Breaking Convention, who will be hosting um, a virtual gathering of the community that had participated at Breaking Convention who were connected to Baba. So um, we're, we're gonna give that a big push. That's the week before the conference and the memorial itself. And what they, we've agreed to do is that all proceeds generated from the event would then go towards supporting the conference and the family and wherever that needs to go. Um, so, oh, Sante, thank you very much. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that's just for me to remind the people watching this that August the second, by way of the breaking convention, we've got an event that will be taking place. You need to check online for the time, depending on where you are in the world. But it will definitely be taking place Sunday, the 2nd of August, and it'll be honoring the work and legacy of Kalinde E. And um, that will be, as I said, it's just my contribution this end, not physically being able to be there, but using technology to advance and keep the information going in the brother's name alive. So, um, again, sis, there's still a lot I would love to chat with, talk, talk with you about, man, just the mysteries and, you know, the history and all of that good stuff. But for me, I'm just grateful for the check in. Um, at this stage and I would love for you to be able to commit to just you know a few more of these that we could do just to explore and go into like some of the deeper of you know history of yourself but especially Baba man because as I said this is the way that we're going to have to allow people to understand the mysteries of the man now and the legacies on the internet and there's 
family and people still around and I know that that's how we keep things alive and keep things going so this is what I'm going to be using this platform to do that sis so I just would like to invite you back again a few more times to explore you know some of that history and mystery I, it would be a pleasure dear and I, I would and I do know I'm getting stronger every day you know um of course you know I can speak about Baba and the tears will roll and that's just because you know we just miss him so just miss him so I mean he's just um but he's everywhere, you know, I, I said that, you know, I had to always share him with the world. So now I have to share him with the multiverse. And um, my, um, she was four at the time, um, our grandbaby, uh, Amor, who is a mushroom baby, um, her and Baba Kalindi had an amazing connection uh, because I'm sure of that, you know, not that she was just a great kid, but being a mushroom baby, um, she said we she was just sitting and coloring one day and, and this was of course after Baba's passing and she just kept coloring and she said, you know, Umi, uh Baba is still teaching. And I said, Amor, well, how do you know that? And she says, because he whispers in everybody's ear. And I was just um stunned that she just and she just kept coloring. It was just she was speaking as a matter of fact. So I do believe that he was at that point whispering in her ear, you know, mm -hmm. to give that message off because she just kept doing her thing and it was just no big deal. And I know and another one, this child is amazing. Um right after he passed, she said, Don't worry, Umi, they're just rebuilding him now. So that that's information that we're going to be talking about is the children and psychedelics and ingesting mushrooms while women are in utero wow. to create this whole new group of children that are coming forth that is going to absolutely change the entire paradigm of the world is these mushroom babies for sure so yeah. so when we we up sis that's exactly where we're going to be starting you know in that space okay. there. <laughs> awesome. well, well, yeah, you know, you'll have Omalewa, the ethnogenic midwife on board there, you know, and her work is very personal and very deep inside of that place, you know, so we're trying to, you know, I would like to gather the women who have actually ingested mushrooms through uh, in utero as a group of women and to actually make a documentary about these children, because this, this is the new way. Hey, yeah, hey, so yes, hey. definitely, Darren. Let's hmm. talk about, let's talk about that. Let's talk that into existence, yeah, man. So, sis, again, thank you for your time, your presence, a nice virtual. I wish I could be there and be there over the coming weeks or at least a month and just touch down. But um, before we go, if there's anything you'd like to share or just leave us with, feel free. You know, how do we connect with you? How do we access you? That type of stuff. And then we can wrap it up. Well, you know, to, to, to leave you with uh, the fact that, you know, Baba believed that death was an exploration, a journey, and um, he left here on his own terms. Uh, he did it his way. Uh, Baba recognized the space in which he was entering, you know, just like a wormhole opportunity and he slipped through, you know, because he was very familiar with what he was feeling as he was moving towards leaving this planet this this life as he ascended he was very familiar so in watching him take his last breaths and be a warrior inside of that just allows me to know that there is a place for you and me and everybody else um when it's time mm. uh, to make that walk you know um, of course, we are left here feeling the way that we feel because we miss that human being, that energy, that smell, that that sight, you know, walking through the door, those big shoes on the floor, you know, um, hearing them walk through. You miss all of those things. But at the same time, the divine essence and the feeling that you get knowing that his presence is here around you as a mighty, mighty ancestor doing the work on the other side for all of us, we can feel certain we can feel certain that all will be well, that all will be well. Um, sure. Through high reverence of the ancestors. Um, you can contact me through uh, Facebook. I am Ayana Ife, I-F-E, Ayana Ife E, -E uh, on Facebook. Uh, there's my information there. Also through um, uh, babakalindi.com, 
there's a page on Facebook that you can access me at. And, um, you know, then there's the WhatsApp. We can, you know, stay in contact if we want to talk personally, the WhatsApp. You know, I don't know if I should give my phone number out, but, you know, you can pass it on if you like, Darren. Yeah, more more direct. Not yeah, not, this is going out to the world, man. You'll be getting calls from all over the, the world for real. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I mean, I'm pretty bombarded right now, and I try to answer all calls, you know, that come my way. And if I don't, I will get back with you through email, text, or the phone. Absolutely. Um, yes. And I will get into that because again, it's opening up conversations. Because I remember while you was here, you was you now giving consultations, and you work with the tarot cards and do various forms of divination. So again, that's just a reminder that that's the realm and spaces we've got to definitely cover when we when we get together the next time. Yes, and that, that is the, the work that I've done and has been enhanced, I must say, to all the readers out there who have never taken psychedelics. The My work has been enhanced by the taking the psilocybin. You know, it's just that it brought it to the to the surface. You know, when you look at the cards, you can see the energy more so that is taken into the back of the brain and you start to feel more um, because everything is enhanced when you take psilocybin. Martial arts, if you play the piano, if you're a martial, uh, a massage therapist, everything is enhanced. So absolutely, um, doing the readings has been very profound because it's my way as again, serving, serving and helping those. And through that work, I've been able to look at those cards and see who may need to take a journey and that this will put your life on the right course. So I honor that work. I do that work. I offer that work. And if you're interested in that work, just give me a call. Much appreciated for sharing, sis. And we'll this be going out. And um, like I said, we'll be touching base again in a couple of weeks for the, you know, the breaking convention gathering. And then the people can definitely reach out to you and support for the conference coming up in many ways that we can, whether it's just reaching out, whether it's, you know, the financial support, anything in between, I know is appreciated at these times. So um, awesome. let's keep spreading the spores. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, let's inoculate and colonize some more minds so then they <laughs> tune in. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I like that, colonize some more minds. That's yeah, right. You know, the psyllium connection. That's right. Yeah, man. Just That's seeing right. where the well, hub really is at, you know, where, where the truth really is at. So, um, you know, yeah, the rewards are great. And I believe time will tell when it gets greater later. So with that said, no sis, no again, about it. Well, peace, peace and magical blessings to you always and to everyone. Thank you so much, Darren. Peace. You have an amazing day. You too, man. All the best. All right.